In the somber landscape of human history, Dachau concentration camp emerges as a chilling testament to the atrocities of the Nazi regime. The origin of Dachau dates back to 1933, a time of great political upheaval when Adolf Hitler ascended to the position of Chancellor of Germany. It was in the wake of this seismic shift in power that Dachau was established, marking the inception of the first regular concentration camp under the Nazi regime. Dachau was more than a place of detention and death. It was a blueprint for the horrors yet to come, a model upon which future concentration camps were based. It was here, amidst the bleak barracks and barbed wire fences, that SS men were trained in the brutal tactics of oppression and violence. They were students in an institution of cruelty, learning lessons that would leave an indelible mark on human history. Dachau, a name synonymous with the horrors of the Holocaust, opened its gates to the unfortunate souls who were to be its first prisoners. Life in Dachau was a brutal routine of backbreaking labor, inhumane living conditions, and the constant threat of death. Prisoners were subjected to grueling forced labor, often leading to exhaustion and disease. They were treated with unimaginable brutality, reducing them to mere shadows of their former selves. Extreme overcrowding added another layer of inhumanity to their suffering. The camp was a melting pot of human despair, housing a wide range of prisoners from political dissidents to Jews, Romani people, and others who fell afoul of the Nazi regime. The estimated number of deaths is staggering, ranging from 32,000 to over 40,000. Each death is a stark reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink when intolerance and hatred are allowed to reign. In Dachau, the human spirit was tested in the cruelest of ways. And yet, glimpses of resilience and hope managed to pierce through the pervasive darkness. On April 29, 1945, the gates of Dachau were flung open, revealing the unspeakable horrors that lay within to the world. The U.S. Army, led by the 42nd and 45th Infantry Divisions, arrived to liberate the camp. They were met with sights that defied comprehension, emaciated prisoners, mass graves, and a chilling infrastructure of human suffering. The liberation of Dachau was not the end of its story. In the aftermath of World War II, it served as a displaced persons camp, providing a temporary home for those uprooted by the war. Then, in 1965, 20 years after the liberation, Dachau was established as a memorial site. The barracks, guard towers and crematorium were preserved, not as a tribute to the atrocities committed, but as a stark reminder of them. Today, Dachau stands as a solemn reminder of the depths to which humanity can sink, and the importance of vigilance against hate and intolerance. History in its darkest chapters gives us lessons that we must never forget. The haunting memory of Dachau is a stark reminder of the perils of bigotry, hate, and indifference. It underscores the dire consequences of turning a blind eye to injustice and the erosion of human rights. Dachau's legacy should not be one of sorrow alone, but a potent warning, a call to vigilance. In the echoes of Dachau's past, we find a call to action for the present, to stand against hatred, to champion human rights and to ensure that such atrocities remain forever seared in our collective memory.